The price of freedom is high. It always has been, and it's a price I'm willing to pay. Welcome back, Captain America fans. It's been a while since we last saw our favorite superhero on screen. But cheer up, since the first Avenger is coming back, and this time with Anthony Mackie in the main role. Stay with us until the end, as we have some really great news to share with you. Now let's dive into the story with a short recap. When we talk about the character's origins, it's important to mention that Lee and Kirby had left the comic and sales were in decline by the early 1970s. These were the moments when young writer Steve Englehart took Captain America into darker, deeper waters. In a lengthy tale that presents both cynicism and anti-war sentiment born of the conspiracy within the White House and the Watergate scandal is revealed to be the work of the government's insidious corruption and the work of the evil secret empire, which horrifies Captain America. Rogers quits in disgust and for a moment becomes a character called Nomad before the feeling of patriotism gets the better of him. Kirby returned to Captain America as both artist and writer in 1975 and he moved the title that was typical of Englehart's take on the character. In the 1980s, a series of writers shepherded Captain America and in 1995, Mark Wade took over. He totally refocused on the basis of the character, meaning that if Steve Rogers might be a man out of time, the symbol of all times is Captain America. Ward had a brief but influential run and he paved the way for the virtual reinvention of the character. The next one to take over was Ed Brubaker, who hit that like button. No, really, he created a soldier out of Captain America and his adventures were noir-influenced tales of intrigue and espionage. The Captain America mantle was passed over a few times over the years. The last time we saw our favorite superhero was the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, played by Anthony Mackie, and the last movie was Avengers Endgame in 2019. The last Captain America solo movie was Captain America Civil War. This movie has changed the face of the MCU that we knew and the upcoming movie will probably drastically alter the franchise even further. While we're still not able to tell if there will be so many bombshells and crossovers in the fourth one. The smooth transition from Steve Rogers to Sam Wilson might tell a different story of how Sam will handle the pressure of continuing Steve's legacy. This will be an immense feat with us seeing it on the big screen as he tries to handle all of it while also doing the job he's required to do now that he's the one to wear the red, blue, and white on him. Now let's talk about the release date and the possible cast list. Although there's currently no release date for Anthony Mackie's Captain America solo movie, the actor just recently revealed that the movie is ready to start in the next few weeks. Phase 4 has and is continuing to come up with multiple changes and that goes together with the conclusion of Marvel Studios' Infinity Saga. There's a space for some new heroes now, after some long time, heroes have departed. Also, as various Avengers have departed, it has also allowed for other established characters to step more into the spotlight. Yes, that's right, one of them ended up being Sam Wilson. He got the mantle or shield, in our case, from Steve Rogers, following the war against Thanos. Sam was one of the veteran MCU heroes to headline his own show when Marvel started the production of the original series on Disney+. He went into this battle alongside Sebastian Stan's Bucky Barnes. The storyline of the Falcon and the Winter Soldier follows this duo as they saw the Captain America title fall into the wrong property. This took us to the moment where Sam embraced Steve's final wish and became the proper and new Captain America. Very soon, after it was revealed that Mackie is set to star in Captain America 4, which made the fans extremely happy. Since the news broke, Marvel Studios has been staying very silent about this project, but Mackie is definitely getting ready for his solo project. During the 2022 Grammy Awards, in his new interview with Variety, the actor talked about how he has various songs that he uses when doing character prep. On a question about what song represents his role in Captain America 4, he said, I can't say it on camera, but it's a two-pack song. And it starts off, first off, dot dot dot. It's really very surprising how little has emerged so far about his solo movie so far. The miniseries finished its run in late April 2021, and right after that, we heard the news about Captain America 4, and now again, it's unclear when Mackie will be seen again in the MCU. Given how packed Phase 4 is, it seems like Captain America is not in the first plan. The rumors are saying that the earliest it can be out is May 2024 or later. Nevertheless, Mackie's new statement about the movie suggests he's already preparing for it.
When we speak about the cast list, there was some information that other The Falcon and The Winter Soldier cast members could smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell. No really, in all seriousness, they can be joining this project. So if this happens, we can expect Sebastian Stan's return as Bucky Barnes. Bucky and Sam worked out their differences despite getting off to a rough start, so it would make sense for Sam to enlist the Super Soldier's help. And following the supposed exit from the franchise in Avengers Endgame, there were even rumors that Chris Evans could return as Captain America. If he's set to do this, it makes sense that it would be during a fourth installment. But what would the fourth Captain America be about? Up to this moment, the studio is keeping the plot a secret, so everything related to the possible Captain America 4 storyline is pure speculation and theories. We only know that the Falcon and the Winter Soldier certainly left plenty of loose threads, so if the series works as a continuation of Sam's story beyond his Disney Plus debut, we can guess what would be their focus. According to some sources and research, the fourth movie will once again concentrate on America. Maybe not entirely, but it will concentrate on American politics, which is an integral part and an uncut feature of their lives. Despite the fact that he's a military veteran, Wilson's battle is fraught with difficulties. Moreover, it's also unclear if we're going to see a return of Bucky Barnes's character. There are numerous uncertainties that raise doubts, even though it's tough to imagine the voyage without him. Sam's old identity of the Falcon was left in Falcon and the Winter Soldier. It's possible that Sam Wilson's ally were Danny Ramirez's Joaquin Torres in the Air Force and take over as the new Falcon. We might see an adaptation of Joaquin's ascension to his superhero role. This actually happened in the comic book storyline in the moments when Sam confronted the evil Sons of the Serpent. John Walker as US agent and Sharon Carter are also dangling from the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Both these threats could be revisited in the next movie or some other Marvel project such as Avengers 5 or something else. As far as the other comic book stories, Sam Wilson's time as Captain America in Marvel Comics will give up the shield while fighting Sin. She used a fake memory implant to publicly humiliate Sam. This storyline could cross its path with the movie as well. Whatever the plot will be, one thing is sure. We expect to hear new official information very soon. And for those who are interested in Sam Wilson's adventures as Captain America, can already watch Volume 1 and Volume 2, which were published by Marvel Studios as Captain America, Sam Wilson in two big sets. What do you think about these scenarios? See you in the next video.